So, as you can see here, we're about to start this project. Sorry, double check and make sure the camera works. This is our first time. So, let's see how this all works. All right. So, as you guys can see, this is our box of Tron Maple Leaf Centennial set, which is why we're wearing all the Tron Maple Leafs apparel on me right now. We picked up this jersey in Toronto too, or in, in Canada. It's like fifty dollars for a Adidas, Adidas authentic John Tavares jersey because it has the A on it, not the captaincy. So yeah, I got it for like fifty bucks. It's amazing. But yeah, so we're gonna be opening this product right here. Again, I'm checking the camera a lot just to make sure it's working. We're gonna go ahead and open the box. See me opening it? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna pull all the packs out and I'm gonna set those packs in sight of the camera. And then we're gonna go ahead and get that going. Uh, do I still have a knife over here? I do. It's kunai, why not, right? Because, yeah, that's the easiest way to do that, right? Obviously. So, as you guys can see, brand new box. Never been touched. Let's get all these packs out of here. Oh, yeah. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Right here. This is it. So, all the packs are out. You guys can see them all. I'm going to set the box right there. Just as a little bit more of a backdrop. So you guys know what we're opening. All right. So there you go. There is our, uh, was it 24 packs, if I remember correctly, of Toronto Maple Leafs Centennial set. Again, this is a product only available in Canada. There's five cards per pack, 24 packs per box. You get two autographs for the box. And let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh, that opened really smooth. Sorry. That was, that was nice. That was really nice. So I'm going to be looking up at first here just to make sure i have a decent spot where you guys can see the sh cards so thomas Karebli, Karebli. again i'm going to say a lot of these names wrong i'm sorry it's going to happen uh let's see here frank makovich not sure oh terry salchuk okay i like that one so you guys can see that there let's see the back of it for a second again sorry if this is a little off uh again Still practicing a few things. I'll give you the backs of this card as well. Yes, I'm looking up at the camera. Uh, King Clancy. That's pretty nice. Looks like it's like a cut, die cut type thing. That's pretty nice. The insert, obviously. And Ace Bailey. So, again, I don't know some of the cards. But, uh, again, we will do our best to see what we get. Um... I don't really know what comes in this set. Again, I, it's, I know it's two autographs per box, all Toronto Maple Leafs uh, throughout history. So I'll know some of them, especially the newer guys. I won't know some of the older guys. Uh, again, Toronto's my second favorite team. I know a lot about the, a lot of the current team. Don't know a lot about some of the uh, other teams or players they had back in the day. So Grant Fuhr, we got here. Charlie Gonchar, or Conchar. Ian Trumbull. Ooh, another Terry Sawchuk. Looks like a die cut, which is kind of cool. Do you know Terry, Saw Terry Sawchuk? Obviously, Detroit Red Wing goaltender for a while. And Frank, uh, Frederick Modin, 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 Modin. Can't speak. Again, going to be a lot of that in this video. I'm sorry, ahead of time. But yeah, uh, I'm super excited about opening these cards again. Toronto fan and getting to learn about a little bit more of the history of the team. Uh, I am excited. Okay, this is really hard to do. This, uh, again, I'm excited to open more cards for you. Again, we have more Upper Deck Series 2 coming out and what Saturday, I believe it is, as of this recording. Got to probably be a little bit uh, closer to the date uh, when I post it. But yeah, we have a box that we're going to be picking up. We have one on the way that we ordered with two other boxes of Upper Deck Series 1 will be opening. So we got some we got some cards coming. Plus we have a, a game use up SP game used. When that comes out, we'll have one of those as well. All right, we have Glenn Anderson, Carlton. Okay, I do know someone who's gonna want that card. Kitty commentary that we did. Um, we did like the guess who's your mascot? Who are you as a mascot? I got gritty, good, and she got Carlton, so she'll definitely want that card. 
All right, we have a Wendell Clark. It looks like a jersey retirement for Wendell Clark. That's pretty neat. Here, pull that up and hold that a little bit closer for you guys to see up there. Card. Again, I'm just kind of here just to be here. And also, I'm organizing this kind of as insert. I don't know what's considered an insert and what's not. So, yeah, I'm pulling out the ones that are kind of cool. Billy Belenko and Errol Thompson. All right, next pack here. But yeah, again, we have a lot of upcoming uh, card pack openings. We have... I'm trying to get a little bit more back on track. Oh, that pack did not open as smoothly as the other ones. I'm trying to get back tra on track with... Uh, Again, doing the videos, uh, the reviews, the power rankings, all that fun stuff as well as opening card packs. I just got really into the opening cards uh, for a minute there when I went to the trip to Canada. Frederick Anderson, Bob Neely, Red Kelly. That one's pretty nice. With the holding the Stanley Cup there. We got a Austin Matthews. Got to have the Matthews in there. Austin Matthews. And Ron Ellis. So again, beautiful cards. It's a really cool set they decided to do. It would be kind of cool if they do that for every team that had a Centennial. I don't know if they did that for Montreal. I think Montreal's the only other team that's hit 100 years. I don't know. It'd be cool if they come out with a Red Wings set. If they do, that'd be kind of neat. I, I would pick that up in a second. Uh, Silas Apps. Don't know that one as much. Ed Belfour. That's an upper deck. Record holders. Interesting. Oh, there's two cards there. <laughs> a little stuck together. Ed Belfour. Record holders. So, record holder, single season wins. He holds it with 2000. Okay, interesting. I did not know that Ed Belfour was that good for them. Again, that was during the time where I wasn't watching a ton of hockey. So, I don't, I missed out on the Ed Belfour era of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bjorn Slim, uh, Slimming? Slimming? Not sure. Uh, Terry Sawchuk, again, nice little card there. And a Pat Bo uh, Boutique. Boutique. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of Toronto fans are going to really not love me for this video because I'm pronouncing these names wrong. But again, I am learning a lot more about the history. Again, I will pronounce most of the names of the teams, the players now, not as much of the teams later or early on. Willie Nylander. We have a awesome Matthews. Memorable moments when he got his four, he got four goals in his first NHL game. That's pretty neat. I have to slide that off because I do see a car underneath it. So... In case you guys want to see the back of it. There you go. There you go. That one's pretty cool. Ron Ellis. And uh, Mike Kolovansky. I don't know that one off the top of my head. From 90, 1991 to 1993 94. Interesting. And then Gary Volk. I know the Toronto Maple Leafs haven't been good for a very long time. Uh, Obviously, it's been a long time since they won a cup. This is probably the best season, best chance they have at it is this season. Now they get rid of Mike Babcock. But it's a team that, again, it's iconic. It's an iconic team. I love the Maple Leaf. I love the colors. Nazem Kadri, uh, Don Maloney, Simple Apps, Simple Apps. We got uh, Dmitry Yervenchik. I'm not sure on that one. And Bjorn Sling Slimming. Again, seems like I think I've got a couple of those, but anyways, I know the Toronto Leafs haven't been great for a uh, very long time, but again, an iconic team. Uh, they have some amazing young players right now, which is again why I've fallen in love with this team uh, all over again. I always like Toronto, I was cheering for them. I remember when they got beat by Boston in that one playoff series that was, yeah, I was cheering hardcore for Toronto that year and it just didn't work out, but yeah, it's just it's cool to um see them having such a young core talent. And again, I think they're still missing a couple pieces, but hey, we'll, we'll see what happens from there. King Clancy. Terry Sawchuk. King, I do like the King Clancy. That's pretty nice. Awesome Matthews uh, die cut, I guess, would be considered. Pretty nice. Again, I think this is from his rookie year. So, again, pretty, pretty nice cards. Bob Rouse and Ken Bellinger. Again, I don't know if anything's worth the money out of this set. I don't know what you can get out of this set. You might be able to get Awesome Matthews type of rookie card. I have no idea. I'm hoping to pull some Mitch Marner. Not going to lie. Um... We'll see about that, but yeah. Leo Komarov. Some of the cards are sticking there. They've been in there for a while. Uh, Brian Briard. Red Kelly. Insert, insert. John Anderson. Just to make sure you can see that. And Jake Gardner, who's obviously moved on to the Carolina Hurricanes. So, present doesn't apply anymore. 
again, I'm just trying this out. We'll see how it works out. Uh, if I'm not a big fan of it, we'll go back to the way I was doing the videos when Series 2 comes out. Uh, Felix Pot Van. Okay, nice. Howie Meeker. Gary Roberts. I feel like there's another one. Yep. Dimitri Yeshinikov. Kick. I don't I don't know. I'm sorry. Again, not good with Russian names. Pretty much anything that's not really American. I'm a stupid American. Sorry, guys. That's what happens. King Clancy. So you guys can see that one. Uh, again, I'm not good at pronunciation of names that aren't uh, really simple and easy. Because, unfortunately, here in the States, we are not taught uh, foreign languages or how to pronounce that stuff. In school, we have to learn on our own. I am trying my best to learn as we go here. Tyler Bozak. Mitch Marner, record holder. I do like that. That's probably my favorite card up to now. Eddie Shack. Yep. Uh, so Mitch Marner, single season assist rook as a rookie. Yep. With 42. That's nice. Again. So you guys can see that. Again, I don't know if you guys saw the back when I was reading it. But yeah, that's definitely one for the personal collection. Eddie Shack, as I talked, I said. L. Uh, Freight and Larry. But Boschman? Boschman? I don't know. That one, I don't know. Yeah, again, Mitch Marner is pretty much the main card I am looking for of this. Anything that's Mitch Marner related that I can get for the personal collection, as you guys may or may not have seen when I showed off everything I bought from Canada, you might be able to see the Mitch Marner card is uh, 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 right in the middle there. <laughs> it's Mitch Marner. It's a graded uh, rookie card. I love that card. It's my favorite card now that I own. Don Metz, Bjork Slimming. Pat Boti and we got here Eddie Shack and Jim Morrison. Yeah, some of this I might be willing to trade and part ways with. We'll see, uh, depending on what kind of set we're looking at here. Obviously, Mitch Marner's will not be included. Sorry, but yeah, we'll see what we get uh, as a whole. I might be willing to part ways with some of the stuff. It was just cool to kind of pick up and go through and see what we got. Terry Martin, obviously being a Canadian exclusive set, it's cool to pick up something that you couldn't get here in the states. Todd uh, Wagner, Charlie Concher, interesting cards, Shane Corson, and Bill DeLingo. So yeah, it's interesting. I have like some of them with like old school looking ones here. So you can kind of see. So I guess retire, uh, retired numbers, nine. Okay. That's pretty cool. So there's like different retired numbers, all that fun stuff. On the back, and again, I'm not going to go through and read all of them. You guys can always freeze saying that if you want to read what's on the back of the cards. But yeah, it looks like there's a lot of good info on the back of these cards, some of these special cards for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Jonas Hogland, Jamie McCowan, Jason Blake with uh, trophy winners. Bill Masterson, that's what it is. I was like, I didn't know that trophy. Ace Bailey, I knew that trophy. I couldn't quite pick it out for some reason. And Johnny Bauer. Still haven't pulled either one of the autographs. Supposed to get two per box. I haven't gotten one yet. So we'll see. So if you guys see any of this open box, maybe at the bottom of the box, pick up a pack. Uh, Ellen McClee, Chloe, J Johnny Bauer. It looks like the Jersey retirement for Johnny Bauer. You guys can see that. Okay, I do like the Jersey retirement ones. Those are kind of cool. Those those shots like that are really cool looking. Actually, put that one off to the side. Uh, Jim McKinney. James, James Van Riemsdyk, who obviously is not on the team anymore, and Pete Stemkowski. Yeah, I like the Jersey retirement ones. Those are really cool, like, shots of, like, the arena uh, retiring a player. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, I don't know. Some of my favorite products, again, I, I really do like Trilogy. Upper Deck Series 1, still looking for those rookie cards. And the freaking Ryan Strome card. Hoping we're pulling that with those two boxes we ordered. Yeah, I don't know. Favorite products so far this year um, that I've opened, because then this is the most amount of hot cards I've opened in a single year in my life, so super excited about it. But I would definitely have to say the Upper Deck ones are pretty good. But Trilogy, I think Trilogy might be taking it. Uh, just, again, pulling some of the, the cards. We've got the Jersey cards, um, the the autographs we've gotten out of them. It's just really cool. Granted, Artifacts, we get the Quinn Hughes, probably my favorite pull out of a pack so far. But yeah, the I'd say Trilogy is my favorite one so far that I've opened this year. Ian Trumbull, Harry Lumley, Lumley uh, Sybil Epps, David Reed. Hope I can, you guys can see those. Yep, okay. And Willa Pe Peachman. I kind of don't know that one. 
again, we are still running our contest, which again, you guys saw at the beginning of this video. I always, I add the video of me recording, might update that one soon, of, uh, that we're getting the contest going on with the two packs of 50 car or yeah, 50 cards each, five hits in each tin. Hope you guys enter, again, description in the video link in below, and good luck on that. Thank you for entering. Uh, I appreciate it. Mike Gartner, Mike Flingo, Flingo which, again, is slightly different than most other ones. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Ian Trumbull. We got Dick Irvin. And Gary Roberts. So surprised. So we have six packs left after this one that I'm opening. And uh, still no autograph card. It's supposed to get two per box. So let's see if we get gypped. I saw someone with a lure set. I watched right before I picked up my box. I was watching just to get an idea of what I might pull. And he got gypped out of a autograph card. I think all he got was a jersey card. He's supposed to get a jersey, an autograph, or something like that in every box. He did not. He got a jersey card and missed out on autograph. So that sucks. Bruce Brudrow. Daryl Stittler. Frank Matrovich. Sergei Bredson, uh, Berizin. And Kyle Wellwood. Interesting. I know Kyle Wellwood. I do know him. Let's see. I know some team. I know some players. I know a couple guys. Don't laugh at me. I know a couple of these players. All right. Daniel Mor uh, Morris. Bill Borlenko. Mitch Marner. Dica. I'm really glad we got that one. I'm really happy with that. I'm so glad we got that one. <laughs> Again, anything Mitch Marner I'm going to be happy about getting in this box. Uh, Gordon Dillon. Gary Lehman. I do know Gary Lehman. So my fantasy league, one of uh, my cousin's best friends, who he's a Toronto Maple Leafs and Detroit Red Wings fan. Uh, his dad was a Toronto Maple Leafs, hardcore Toronto Maple Leafs fan. And his name is called Gary Lehman's Crew uh, Squad or something like that. So yeah, I do know Gary Lehman a little bit. I know of him. Uh, again, he, he's a huge hardcore fan of the Maple Leafs. Red Wings, I think it's Red Wings the Maple Leafs, or it might be Maple Leafs rather than Red Wings. Either way, he always picks up Maple Leafs every year. Uh, I always try to grab Mitch Marner before he can. But yeah, he usually picks up Austin Matthews and as often as he can. Russell uh, Courtnow, Ed Belfour, got a Doug Gilmore. Oh, nice. It's a, it's a numbered card. Okay. So Doug Gilmore, retirement, uh, retired numbers, numbered 60 out of 100. So that's pretty nice. It's like a gold centennial card here. That's pretty nice. So 60 out of 100 there. So that would be, I guess, a nice insert. King Clancy and Norman Ullman. Again, down to four packs. You guys can see those here. Four packs left. <laughs> Still no autograph cards. Very surprising. Still hoping for a Mitch Barner. Not going to lie. Austin Matthews, Mitch Barner would be great. Doubt it. Very doubtful. But that's why I would love to hit pull. Uh, excuse me. Uh, um, Maroslav Freilis. Vincent Danfi uh, Danfaus. Danfaus. We have a James Van Riemsdyk Memorial Moment, Memorable Moments. Which one is this one? Uh, 2000, March 28th, 2014 against Philadelphia. I don't know. I'll have to read that one a little bit more. I'm not going to read that on the video because it's going to be way too long. I don't want to make this longer than it has to be. Uh, Red Horton and Jim McKennedy. Sorry, just realized. Sorry, I'm using a, two phones kind of right now. And I'm going to put them together, and I couldn't quite figure out if it was still recording. I was trying to look and look for I found it, but it took me a minute. Mike Walton. Uh, Nick Astropov. Harry Lumley. Still no autographs. I have two packs left. Mitch Marner. Which, again, I don't think I pulled the base Mitch Marner. I may have. I don't remember. I'm not going to lie. And David Reed. So, theoretically, it does say... Let's just double check the box. Grab two autographs per box on average. Let's see if I'm not average. I can tell you right now, I'm not average. So that would mean that in the bottom two packs, the last two packs, we get the two autographs. Doubt it. I think we got Jip, guys. Let's find out. Phil Kessel. Wendell Clark. Dara Stiller. There we go. Rick Lee uh, of the Toronto Maple Leafs. There we go. There's one of them. There's one of them. Uh, again, don't know much about him, unfortunately. You ever see a trading card grab by Rickley? 
Okay, interesting. So there's our first autograph. I guess we'll put that right there, right where you guys can see it, kind of. And a David Anderchuk. So, last pack magic, guys. Look at pack here. Look at pack here. There you go. Let's see what kind of autograph, if we got two autographs, we got. First one's nice. Not a guy I really know that much about, but let's see if we get one here. Bobby Braun, Ed Belfour, Hockey Hall of Famer, and Eddie Shack. There's the other one. So, last two packs of the box were the two autographs. That's pretty impressive. I don't, I didn't plan that. Obviously, I saw him pull them out of the box. Didn't plan that, but that's how that worked. We got an Eddie Shack autograph. All right. Again, two players I don't know much about, but it's still cool to get autographs of any old players, any new players. Always fun to get an autograph. Rick uh, Keo and David Hannon. So there you go, guys. That is your Centen Toronto Maple Leafs Centennial box. Again, your two autographs you guys can kind of see right here. I don't want to fuck it up too much. So those are the, the two autographs we got out of the box. And then I guess the Mitch Marners are more for me. We got a number 60 out of 100 of Doug Gilmore, Jersey Retirement. Mitch Marner kind of die cut. And then, yeah, just a couple of Johnny Bowers, Mitch Marner. Oh, so we did get a couple. Okay. I'm glad the Mitch Marners. We got three different Mitch Marners. Uh, yeah, these, like, die cut ones. Also Matthew ones. This one's really cool, too, of him with the score and the four goals. Uh, Wendell Clark, uh, Jersey Retirement. Clark Carlton. I'm so happy. He's probably one of my favorite cards, too. Kitty Hunter will be super happy to see that when she sees this video. Hoping it'll come out before I give it to her so she gets surprised if she watches it. Terry Sawchuk. And then another Terry Sawchuk. But yeah, overall, guys, it's a cool box. Um, if you're a true, true, true diehard Toronto Maple Leafs fan, you should definitely watch uh, buy this product. Um, because again, you're getting you're getting a ton of cards. As you can see a humongous stack of cards. A Toronto, all Toronto Maple Leafs throughout history. That's really awesome. I will probably I'm thinking about trying to do reviews on boxes I open to, um, like coast to coast. You get a whole set out of a box i'm thinking about trying to do that see how much of a set you get out of each box for the value what you get out of it and kind of do a review of each box i open but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this this has been awesome uh great great um fun opening these cards for you again thank you so much for watching give us a like and subscribe uh and again don't forget to enter the contest i still have the tins right here so don't forget tins tins all that fun stuff i still have those i guess not really tins i guess they're boxes of giveaways but yeah thank you so much for watching guys this is zach from say what zach i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know how you like the new formatting i'm hoping this all works out the way i'm planning it does with uh, the bottom view here and the shot here of me kind of with the backdrop but anyways uh thank you for watching i will talk to you guys again very soon